everyone, Tommy Drone here. This video is for anyone who's brand new. You're getting your first drone and you're ready to get started. You want to fly your drone. You want to learn how to fly your drone. I'm going to show you guys how to fly the drone in just a second. Before I do, let me share with you, every drone you're looking at here is a beginner drone. And as you're getting started, you may be thinking, uh, I want to get my first drone. So if you're looking to pick your first drone, they go in price anywhere from $20, $30, $40 for a basic beginner drone without a camera. Both these drones are less than $40 and are a lot of fun. They can be flown outdoors or indoors. Uh, the difference is outdoors, because they're so light and small, the probability of them flying away in the wind is much greater. So you don't want to fly these on a windy day. It has to be really, really calm outside because they're so light. But they're great for beginning for beginner drones because they have drone guards and you can bump into the wall, you can bump to yourself, you're not gonna get hurt. So great for start, starting drones. And if you want a drone with a camera, again, you can get them pretty cheap. This drone here, less than $60, and it has a camera. It's just a basic drone, doesn't have anything too special, no GPS or anything, but it is a lot of fun and it has a camera, so you can take video as well. But then you start going up the ranks and you have your drones with a GPS. You can fly this on a windy day and it will stay in its place. And it's got a camera, 1080p camera, lots of great features like follow me mode. It's still a beginner drone, but with a lot more advanced features. And it's great for that person who's really ready to get started. Maybe you've already had your first fun drone. You're ready to step up to a more advanced drone. It's still a beginner drone. It's gonna cost you around $100 or less. And then even more so advanced, more so than this, although this doesn't have GPS, although there are some that do, this is a Force One F100. I don't have the camera on here at the moment, but this drone also has a camera and it is far faster. While I classify it as a beginner, I classify it as an advanced beginner drone because it is much, much faster. And then once you've worked your way up, then you can go even faster to your racing FPV drones like the Force One drone I have here in my hand. And then these drones are $300. Not a beginner drone though. But everything else here is a beginner drone. I do recommend them for getting started. Go ahead and pick out a good beginner drone. For today's lesson, I'm going to share with you guys how to start flying your first drone right now. Okay, so when getting started, your drone is going to have four channels. Most drones have four channels. The first drone is the throttle, which goes up and down. And for most drones, the throttle is right here and just goes up and down. That'll make the drone go up and down. And then the second channel for most drones is turn, or what's called a spin. Okay, some people call it yaw. And uh, the yaw, the turn, the spin, whatever you call it, you can either turn right or turn left. Your third channel, forwards and backwards. So with a helicopter, it'll go forward or backwards. But you'll notice helicopters also can bank to the left or bank to the right. And that's called a roll, although helicopters don't necessarily roll like an airplane. An airplane will roll all the way around. You ever see an airplane roll? A uh, helicopter is going to roll all the way around, unless it's a um, 3d helicopter but uh, this one just kind of banks to the left and bank to the right okay so that would be your fourth channel so same thing for a drone the drone's gonna have the throttle up and throttle down it's gonna go forward and backwards the drone can also turn to the left or turn to the right or spin to the right and then finally the the drone can roll to the left or roll to the right or bank to the right bank to the left okay so just to recap you have your you have your up and down okay that's this button right here goes up or down up or down and to go forward you're gonna hit this controller you'll hit your right controller stick forward and it goes forward when you control backwards it'll come back towards you so forward backwards turn to the left to the right you're going to use your left control stick you turn it to the left or to the right okay that's called a yaw you either go to yaw to the left or yaw to the right and finally you can bank the drone with this with your right with your right controller stick banks to the left or banks to the right and that's how that works most of the time when you're getting started with the majority of drones you'll have to turn on the controller of course but you'll link the controller to the drone and you just take your throttle stick and you go up and then down and many times i'll lock with the drone for some drones you can just 
go up or there'll be a button to have it take off or you can just bring that down to the side and that'll start the drone spinning. Now the drone's spinning. Remember what I shared with you, to go forward, move your right joystick forward, to go backwards, back towards yourself. Now the drone stopped spinning, it's because I haven't taken off. Let's go and get that going again there. To the side. Okay, and if I go up, it's gonna go faster and it'll begin to go up. And notice also when I brought the uh, stick down, the blades stopped spinning, but also it came down. So, um, so let's do that again, go up. And then I can bring it down. And they'll start blades from spinning. Now you'll notice just now when I was uh, flying, the drone came off and it start, stopped spinning as soon as I brought it down. That's a good thing. That's what you want to look for in a good drone. You want the drone to stop spinning when you bring it in. Okay, so let's go ahead and try that again. I'm going to go ahead and bring it down. Then we go up. And when you get started, the first thing you want to do is learn really just to hover. Learn how to get to hover, learn how to control, see if you can't keep it close to you. And uh, that's what I always recommend doing, is just get it to hover. This is your roll, roll to the right, roll to your left, and then again, your spin to the left or spin to the right. Let's go ahead and go up again. And we'll go up. Again, just practice with your hover. And just practice this, forward, backwards, right, left. And just practice hovering. Next, practice going forwards and backwards, or just learning how to go in a circle. Going back, and then turning it around, and then coming back the other direction. That's a great thing to learn, is just practicing going back and forth, back and forth. Now, remember to spin, you use your throttle here, and I'm gonna spin it with the throttle. Over there you go, now I'm spinning to the left, and now I'll spin to the right. And the breeze is making it come towards me because there's a breeze coming towards me. So there you go, guys. There's the basic on how to fly this. Now, again, this drone does not have GPS. So it's going to be what uh, some people, some drones might be what's called whirly, where it's a little difficult to control. This drone's actually fairly easy to control, at least I think it is anyway. And um, even though there's a breeze, it flies really well, I believe. And the more you practice, the better you'll get. I think the hardest thing with any drone is orientation. Just learning that orientation. Because when it goes away from you, it can be a challenge to see the orientation. But you notice the bright red propellers on this drone really help with identifying the front of the drone. And that's a, that's a big help. Okay, you can see the red in front, that really helps a lot. This is a fun drone. This is a Snap Paint SP660. A GPS drone is going to cost you more and it's going to be a little bit heavier. In fact, as you look at the drones, they're pretty much about the same size. However, the uh, Lulin LMRC uh, LM01 drone is a little bit heavier and it's also a little more solid. It just has a more solid feel and you'll notice a little bit thicker and that's because this has a GPS uh, component to the drone which makes it a little more expensive and also more stable for flying. And just like before you can take your throttle and your joystick down to the side and that will start the drone to spin. If I go up, it'll go up. Uh, remember forwards, backwards, roll to the left, roll to the right and then turn to the right or turn to the left. Okay, so this, this drone has GPS, so when it goes off, it's going to stay still. So it's going to take off. I'll show you what I mean. There's a light breeze out here. Notice how the Lulin LMRC LM01 stays perfectly still. It's staying in its spot. It's not moving. It's not going anywhere. And that's because it has a GPS component. So it's going to stay put. I mean, if it stays here, and wherever I go, it'll stay still. So let's go forward. And notice... I'll bring it up a little bit though. It just stays still. It doesn't move from that spot. The GPS is keeping it in place. So the thing about a GPS drone is it allows it to just fly more steadily and with a lot more control. So I hope this video helped you. If you're new to the Drone Flying Club, welcome. My name is Tommy Drone and my channel is Tommy Drone Tech. Be sure to check out my other videos, especially my drone review videos under the playlist all my 
drone reviews, as well as all my friends to the right of my channel. You'll see all these other fellows that I'm good friends with here on YouTube. They also have drone reviews, so check out their reviews as well. There's a lot of great drones out there. Have fun flying. It is a learning experience and one that as you fly, you're going to quickly understand why it's so addictive. Thanks again for watching. Please like and subscribe. I got many more great videos, reviews, tutorials, and so on coming very, very soon. So stick around. Thanks again for watching. I'll talk to you next time.